Officer Roy Oliver, the man who shot and killed 15 year old Jordan Edwards as he was a passenger in a car, has been charged with murder. Um, this is a good development in the story, especially when you consider the details of what happened. Uh, the cops were called to a house party where uh, there was a report of underage drinking. Uh, at that point, uh, the cops were speaking to the host of the party and they claimed that they heard gunshots. And then uh, Roy Oliver went outside, grabbed his rifle out of his vehicle and then proceeded to shoot into uh, a car that had Jordan Edwards in it. And of course, the bullet struck him and, and unfortunately killed him. He was a completely innocent person. They were trying to get away from the scene. Um, yeah, the initial, initially the officers suggested that they felt threatened by the car. Yeah, which was the car was a lie. Uh, now they changed their story or, the, or, or welcomingly the Dallas police was like, no. The car was not threatening them, the car was driving away from them. Yes, yeah. so originally police had said Oliver fired on the vehicle because it was backing up aggressively um, toward the officers. But the department revised its accounts after reviewing body cam footage saying the car was driving away when Oliver shot. And so this is one of the rare instances where the body cam footage actually did have an impact. Because you know, I always think about the, the Walter, Scott, uh, Walter Scott story. And I know that didn't involve a body cam, but it involved footage of Walter Scott running away from a cop as the cop shot at him, right? And, and it apparently didn't have much of an impact when it came to uh, the grand jury decision to not well, uh, hold, press charges. Hold on, so let me, yeah. let me get that straight because the, the, I think in the end that that sort of did work for two reasons. Because there was the federal case. The federal case, but separate. also he was, he was 11 of 12 jurors were ready to convict for either manslaughter or murder and one juror simply wouldn't go in that case. So like you got a, you got a juror who simply wasn't gonna convict a police officer and and then they were able to parlay that successfully into a, a guilty plea at the federal level and the family is sort of satisfied and he was gonna get convicted at the federal level where you're less likely to have a juror like that. Right. Where there's more, prosecutors control that more. Right, so I, you know, I hope that justice is served in this story and in this case. And right now the news cycle is constantly flooded with Trump related news. And I think it's a strategy, a political strategy by Trump and his cronies. But I don't want it to distract from stories like this because prior to the election, police brutality and excessive force was a big deal. And it was a topic of discussion for everyone. And um, you know, everyone has moved away from that and focused more on what Trump is doing. What is he tweeting? Who's tweeting in response to it? And I'm tired of it, right? Stories like this matter, the lives of people like Jordan Edwards matters. And it, it, we deserve justice. He deserves justice and his family deserves justice. So I'm glad that there are murder charges here. And um, you know, we will update you as the story develops. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network. It's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger. tytnetwork.com slash join.